Hello, this video is intended to give you a short overview about the new features in 1.33.11. Um, I will upload some videos with more details later, show you all the new planes and stuff in detail. So, I'll start with the new aircraft. On the American side, we have the F 80C Shooting Star at rank 18. So it's a jet fighter 1948, I think. Um, it's a later version of the F 80 and used in the Korean War. You have the option to equip it with two 500 kilogram bombs or eight rockets. Um, yeah, right now you can also see the other new features this new modification and weapon loadout screen. Um, I'll show you this soon. So um, another new aircraft is the F-9F Panther, rank 19, naval fighter. Um, you have already three different camouflages unlocked for this. And also on this aircraft you can take bombs, like um, yeah, different loadout for bombs up to 2500 or 650 kilogram bombs or some smaller bombs and also six rockets so the next new aircraft on the american side is the btd-1 it's a naval bomber torpedo bomber interesting design of the wings like a corsair powerful engine and you have a front wheel landing gear which makes landings very easy on the carrier I'll show you this later you can also take up to two torpedoes on this aircraft or of course um, different loadout for bombs up to a 1000 kilogram bomb so you can deal pretty much damage with this. It also has two 20mm cannons, but only a low ammunition count for that. Next new aircraft um, we have is on the Russian side, the Yak-17, which is uh, yeah, a more improved version of the Yak-15. It has the same armament, but um, front landing gear and some drop tanks. You also have an improved cockpit with a um, different gun sight and improved armament, um, armored glass. For this aircraft, um, like the Yak-15, you have two 23mm cannons. It should be a little bit slower than the Yak-15 because of all, all those improved attachments. But well, we have also um, two new Lag-3, the Lag-3 Series 8 and Series 11. And also a new LA-5F and LA-5, yeah, LA-5 and LA-5F. Um, Currently they have the same flight model as the LA-5FN, which is of course not correct. Um, LA-5 basically has the cockpit of the Leg 3 as you can see here. But of course the new engine and two 20mm cannons. The LA-5F, it's a later version, has the same cockpit as the LA-5FN. But um, it does not have the um, fuel injection foresights like the LA-5FN, so it's slower, of course, and you don't have that powerful boost on it. Mm. Also, we have um, a new British aircraft, which is the Vampire FB-5, rank 19. It looks, it looks really nice, I think also flies very nice. Well you can also take some bombs and rockets on this. You have eight up to eight rockets and 500 kilogram bombs. 
Um, no new aircraft for the Japanese side. Don't know why, because I think the Japanese side definitely needs some new aircraft. We also got the um, new modifications and overall a new modification system, which works basically um, like you buy a old and used aircraft and you have to spend experience on it to unlock um, improvements and all that stuff so you can put in for example a new radiator, new compressor, new engine, new engine injection and all that stuff which will improve your performance but this also increase your repair costs so you can use uh, you can decide if you want to use a cheaper aircraft which is not that good or a more expensive aircraft which is on reference performance we also have upgrades for example for the guns and if you just go mouse over over the gun improvement you see um, yeah, basically what it does so the, if you have the improved guns they do not overheat that fast and they do not spread that wide at a longer distance you just have to buy the new guns to get um, access to the new um, to the different um, ammunition belts and they are now consumable so once you buy them first time you get full ammunition belts for every type of ammunition belt and after you use them you can have to repurchase them or you can just here click on automatic re refuel of the ammunition belts so this is how the new system works um, we also have some new uh, modifications for the German planes for the 109F4 and G2 you can now equip them with two 20mm under wing guns gun pots of course you have to first unlock a modification for this um, all those modifications now influence your flight characteristics as you can see here on the stats so for example those 20 mm if you go with the mouse over it you can see they reduce your maximum speed your climb rate and increase your verge time um, but of course you have now more firepower we also have the same for the 109F4 drop for the G2 drop and for the G6 as well so you can now decide if you want to take 30 millimeter or 20 millimeter on the G6. For the G6 we also have a completely new weapon which are those German rockets Werfergranat 29. They are airburst rockets so they explode in the air after a specific time after they um, reached specific distance which is your gun convergency distance so if you set it to 400 meters those rockets explode at 400 meters and they have a good splash damage we also have new upgrades for the Focke-Wolf 190 A5 you can also equip them with the new Werfer Granat 21 you can also equip them with um, dual 20 mm gun pots under the wings those reduce all your performance of course um, make you more sluggish and heavier but you have yeah, much increased firepower with them for the 190F8 you can put some 30 mm MK103 guns on them, those are the long barrel 30mm guns, they're really big, should uh, do big damage, you have different ammunition belts for them, like for air targets, stuff of course, but also for armor targets, which have the same rounds as um, the gun on the HS-129. We have also some new uh, bombs for the Stukas, for example this Stuka can now take a 1000 kilogram bomb and we have some other loadouts for the bombs, so you can take for example a 500 kilogram and two, two 250 kilogram bombs 
on this stuka, on the last stuka, or yeah, we have more options at all. Also, for example, for the JU88, some more options. Um, yeah, also for some Russian bomber, I think for the IL4, you now have different options uh, for bombs. So um, those are the upgrades for, for new stuff, new planes and new upgrades. We also have some other new stuff um, which you can find for example in the game options menu. You now have the system parameter so you can adjust some of the graphical settings in game directly. We have also some new interface options, for example for Arcade and HP you can select a different crosshair style and a different color. Also you have the option to disable logos and screenshots, which is very nice of course. Beside this, there's a new feature uh, which I can only show you in-game, so you can yeah, see this later. Also, all the aircrafts got a lot cheaper to purchase. Well, I already have all purchased, so I cannot show you this, but they reduced the repair costs and the chase costs at all for all the aircrafts. Well, so there are also some updates to the flight model of some aircrafts, of course. All the American aircrafts will be revisited by the FM team. We have new, getting new FMs for the 190D12, D13, and TA152. Also, of course, new aircraft for this. Some of the British aircraft, Tempest, Typhoon, I think, and some of the Spitfires. And also, I think, for some of the Japanese aircraft. On the Russian side we have finally the stall characteristics for the LA-5 and LA-5 and LA-7 and yep, those aircraft can now stall, very nice. Um, one of the biggest improvements or what I really like about this pledge is the new FRB mode, uh, we have a new FRB map mode I'll just show you here in the custom battle, it's called, um, where is it, it's called Battle, and in this case the battle for Stalingrad, and yeah, I'll show you this in detail later, but you can get, you have multiple runways, you have, like, each side has four airfields in this, three big airfields and one small emergency airfield, and you get dynamic tasks, so you get dynamic mission objectives, um, for example bomb a factory, disable some artillery at some position, and you get for example a task or some task like um, destroy um, boats um, delivering supplies from one side of the river to the other side at a special grid location, you have to go there, look for the boats and shoot them down and bomb the supplies they deliver. Very interesting stuff, very interesting mission. Um, this is all work in progress and uh, yeah, I think later they, we will maybe see something like that you can jump in or jump out in, a, in an ongoing mission and missions will go on for several hours and you can respawn of course and um, yeah, that's that, that looks really impressive to me. It's really nice. Yeah, also some one of the uh, other new features we have that you can in game if you go to in in game to game options you have here a link. If you click on this link, a site and your browser will open and on this side you can see the in game map. And you can even open this site on any other device which is in the same um network, near the same connected to the same wireless LAN for example. So you can have you can have um, the in-game map 
on a tablet or a smartphone or a second PC or a second monitor and just have the map there. Well, as I already said, I will later upload a video dedicated on um, the new British and US aircraft, showing them in action, and also the new Russian aircraft, of course, and all the modifications for the German's aircraft, so like killing some bombers with those new rockets, and of course in the new full real battle game mode which is of course really interesting. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this review.